Sith. I can feel it. Hmm. Thank you for coming. She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Please, I want you to understand for their sake, as well as yours. Time. <sighs> For the sake of Yoshizawa-san and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. But why? This pain is too much! Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever, and... and it's all my... all Samiri's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please... don't try to stop me! If you do... then I'll... How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. Why are 
are you doing this to me? Please, just leave me alone. Please don't do this to me. Not yet. It's time. Kaguya! Go down! Looks like you lost. Why? Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please, I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. <laughs> I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire, to live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Did he? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, Escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Persona! Flash me! There. I will feel joy! That should do. to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth.
We can't afford to waste time on this shit. Here it comes. I don't think so. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? No, she's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? <sighs> so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? All right. Let's get in formation. <laughs> Leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? Let's go. Sona. Lash me. I'll break them. You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... 
And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got to rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! She's... Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Oh... Yes. I'm 
I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. <laughs>